What up, Blockchain Nation? What up, YouTube? Uh, how are you doing? Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so you can get uh, weekly notifications whenever uh, I release these videos. So for those who watch consistently, I want to say a big thank you. You are far too kind. So what's up with Libra? Libra is a project that was started by Facebook a couple of years ago. It received a lot of backlash from press or from Congress here in the United States when it was released. So uh, the question is, what has happened? Where are they now? Is the project been dissolved? And um, I uh, just want us to take a quick look at this project and answer some questions. So here we are with Libra. So here is an article by, Tech, by TechCrunch, I believe. Facebook-backed association revamps Libra. Um, following regulatory concerns. So Libra has updated its white paper and they have made some changes in its white paper. So first of all, uh, you can read this in its entirety if you want to. So the first thing is they are offering a single currency stable coins in addition to the multi-currency coin. What that means is if you come here, you would see it explains in detail. So what Libra is doing is they are issuing a stable coin. What a stable coin means is that it's a coin that is pegged to something stable. Yeah which makes sense. But um, in the case of, uh, there's some other concepts out there that are stable coins, but they're not pegged to fiat currencies. Fiat currency means currency that's issued by a nation state, like the US dollar, like the uh, Chinese yuan, and other currencies around the world are all fiat currencies. They're not really backed by anything. They used to be backed by gold and silver, but now they're just backed by a government's decree, which is why it's called a fiat currency. So Libra will be backed by um, fiat currencies. There are some projects out there that are not backed by um, currencies, by fiat currencies. One of those projects is the Maker. Maker, Maker is a smart contract on platform on Ethereum that is backed by um, Ether, which is a cryptocurrency. Anyways, so I digress. So let's look at this. So Libra received a lot of backlash when they launched, and so they've changed their concept. What they are doing is the Libra Foundation, a couple of people have dropped out already out of the foundation. There has just been an interesting mess. So they're going to have like a basket of currencies. So you have the Libra USD, the Libra Euro, and the Libra Pound. So as opposed to, I think what governments were worried about was Facebook coming out with their own currency. So they're trying to say, hey, okay, we're not coming out with our own currency. We're going to create a, a our currency that is backed by or that is that you can exchange for um, other currencies like dollar and the pound it's kind of like the um, in my opinion it's kind of like the sdr so sdr is actually a basket of currencies that is issued by the imf so it contains it has different currencies in october 2006 we had added the chinese one but it has so many let me look for this this is here Alternative to the US dollar currency basket. Here we are. So it has, does it have the basket of currencies? So anyways, Libra Association is using some interesting words in their code. For instance, they, they wouldn't say that it's augmenting the Libra record when the Libra network, when it, when it is reducing its ambitions. Anyways, what, just, what this just means is that because of the backlash that you got from Congress, what they're trying to do is they're trying to dial down a bit as opposed to coming out like this world power that's taking over the world. And so something else they did was like now, like so the Libra Foundation is a group of different companies that have come together and they're backing this Libra project. Obviously, Facebook is a major player in this. So the Libra Foundation also has its network. It's like a payment network like Visa and like MasterCard that issues its own currency called Libra. But what they've done now is to scale things back a bit. They are backing the Libra, like the blockchain or like Bitcoin. Bitcoin isn't backed by any fiat currency. Bitcoin is not backed by um, gold, neither is it backed by silver. Bitcoin itself is its own store of value. So that was the initial approach coming out with Libra, trying to come up with their own cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, but that just failed. So they uh, dialed it back a bit and they decided to make it a currency that is backed by, or arguably a currency that is backed by fiat currencies like the dollar and the pound. So the Libra Foundation and the Libra Network are still operational. Is Here we go, the members. We have Anchorage and Recent Horowitz. They're still there. Coinbase is still there. Well, some have dropped out. But here's the interesting thing. Novi from Facebook. So Facebook is 
um, a member of the Libra Foundation, but not as Facebook, as his partner company called Novi. Now, Novi used to be called Calibra. Calibra is the name of the company that is fronting for Facebook, and at the same time, is the name of a wallet or the wallet where you can use to buy and sell uh, the Libra currency. So it's no longer called Calibra, now it's called Novi. So Novi, through Novi, you'll be able to buy and sell Libra USD, you'll be able to buy and sell Libra Pound, and it's, it's going to integrate with your WhatsApp application and your Facebook Messenger, which is very, very interesting. So the same way you can send a message from Facebook Messenger, or you can send a message from um, WhatsApp, you can actually use that to buy and sell stuff. So arguably, what Facebook is also going to do is for businesses that might want to do ads, might want to pay for ads, they might say it's a possibility that, okay, in order for you to make payments for ads, use Libra to make those kind of payments, which will make Facebook a world power, which they already are. Anyway, so Facebook is a member of the Libra Foundation through Novi, which was initially called Calibra. So that's another um, change that they've made. They've changed the name from uh, Calibra to now Novi. They've decided to scale back on using their issuing their own currency Libra, which is was backed by uh, nothing really, but now it's being backed by um, fiat currencies. So it's kind of like the SDR. What else do we have here? So it's kind of like USDC, which is also a stable coin. So every time Libra Association mints a Libra USD, they buy and store the equivalent in cash in a bank account, which is interesting. So what will now happen is that each time the Libra Foundation sells or mints a, Libra, a USD, a Libra coin, it's, they will have to have um, the equivalent cash in their reserves. So that brings a lot of questions, like who is going to audit those reserves? How do we really know that uh, for each Libra that's issued, Facebook has that amount of money kept in its reserves? That's kind of like what happened with the uh, United States back in the days when the United States would issue um, dollar bills and they were on every single dollar bill, $20 bill, $50 bill that was issued was backed by its equivalent in gold. But eventually in 1971, we realized that the U.S. had printed more dollars than it had gold and the rest is history. So um, with Facebook, who's going to watch over Facebook? Who's going to be who's going to be able to tell if Facebook really has the um, dollars or the euros or the pounds that they say they have? It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. So we'll just keep on watching this project and see who else drops out and who else becomes a part of it. We have Zappo and we have a whole bunch of other members. So it's just something to look at. We were watching. Interesting. Who knows what's going to happen to this project? But I think that Facebook is very resilient. I think they're going to push through. I think they're going to try different things. And ultimately, they are going to look for something that Congress might not be too excited about, but something that Congress will just eventually say, okay, 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 okay. We agree, you can go ahead and do what it is you want to do. So, interesting, yeah. So watch this video, I explained Libra initially. This was the first video I did on this. And now uh, this is just an update telling you how far we've come or how far they've come. I said we, not we, they've come with this project. And uh, let's see what the future holds. It'll be interesting to see. All right, that's all I have. My wish for you is that you learn more about blockchain technology because blockchain is changing and will change the world. And uh, those who get involved early in learning about distributed ledger technology will greatly impact the future. And um, if that's you, let's go change the world.